<laughs> hey everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today I'm gonna teach you how to make lasagna roll-ups. These have all of the same great flavors that you love in lasagna. They're beefy, cheesy, saucy, so delicious, and they're way easier to serve. So let's get started. Start by cooking 12 lasagna noodles according to the package instructions. Fill a large pot with water and add about three tablespoons of salt. Once the water is at a rolling boil, add the noodles one at a time to keep them from sticking together. And I like to add a few extra noodles because some of them will break while cooking. Stir the pasta occasionally and while it's cooking, we're gonna start the meat sauce. Place a deep pan or Dutch oven over medium high heat with a tablespoon of olive oil. Add a pound of lean ground beef and cook for about two minutes, breaking it up with your spatula until it's no longer pink. Then add half a cup of diced onions and continue cooking for about three minutes or until the onions are softened. Next, add three minced garlic cloves, a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and half a teaspoon of oregano. Saute that another minute or until the garlic is fragrant. Add 24 ounces or three cups of classic marinara sauce. Bring that to a simmer, then turn off the heat. Once the noodles are al dente or firm to the bite, drain off the hot water and fill the pot with cold water to stop the cooking process and to keep the noodles from sticking together. Now on to the easy and scrumptious cheese sauce. In a mixing bowl, combine 15 ounces of ricotta cheese, one and a half cups of shredded mozzarella cheese, a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, one large egg, and one fourth cup of freshly chopped parsley. Stir that together until it's really well combined and set it aside. To keep my workstation clean, I like assembling these lasagna roll-ups on a non-stick baking sheet. Arrange the first batch of noodles in strips in a single layer. Spread one fourth cup of the cheese sauce or about an ice cream scoop worth over each noodle. Spread those out evenly and remember there's no need for perfection because these will get rolled up. Next, add a heaping tablespoon of meat sauce and place that in a strip down the center of each noodle. Roughly spread that meat sauce and now you're ready to roll. Roll the noodles one at a time, semi-tightly. And don't worry about any of the sauce coming out on the ends because the messier these are, the tastier they will be. Repeat that same process with the remaining six lasagna noodles. Then take a nine by 13 casserole dish and spread about a half a cup of meat sauce over the bottom of the dish. That little bit of meat sauce is important because it prevents the roll-ups from sticking to the dish. Transfer the roll-ups into the casserole dish, keeping them in a single layer. Spread the remaining meat sauce evenly over the roll-ups. Make sure you use every bit of that meat sauce for a really juicy lasagna. Sprinkle on the remaining one and a half cups of shredded mozzarella cheese. The cheese creates a crust over the top as it melts, keeping the lasagna roll-ups from getting dry. Cover the top with foil, then bake at 375 degrees Fahrenheit in the center of your oven for about 40 minutes. Then remove the foil and set the oven to broil for two to three minutes or until the cheese is lightly golden. And when it's done, you'll see the meat sauce bubbling at the edges. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, because I get lasagna for dinner. Lunch and dinner, we skip lunch. <laughs> oh my goodness, and it looks so good. Melty, bubbly cheese. And you know what I love the most about this kind of lasagna? You don't really have to wait. With traditional lasagna, you do have to let it set a little bit, otherwise it can kind of slide apart on you and be really hard to cut. But this one, you can just dig right in and enjoy it. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. But first, a little bit of parsley. Add that fresh pop of color and flavor. And look, now it looks like a salad. <laughs> okay, all right, no more messing around. I'm hungry. Here we go. And it is so easy to serve this. Oh, the cheese pull. Irresistible. Mm. 
Okay, you see those layers? <laughs> okay, here we go. And it turns out so moist and saucy every time. It's never dry. Scrumptious. Ooh, hot. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. Mm. It's a tasty lasagna. <laughs> That's a horrible accent, but it's a delicious lasagna. <laughs> oh my goodness, yum. It is so beefy. It's loaded. Wow, perfect balance of cheese sauce to meat sauce and the cheese. Don't forget the cheese. Sometimes I add extra cheese. I hope you guys are so, so excited to make this. If you guys love pasta, check out some of our all-time favorite recipes right over there and right down there. And make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure you click below to subscribe. And when you do, click that little bell icon. Super important so you get notifications every time we post a new recipe. We'll see you in our next video.